Hi guys, Mike Pro Cycle here. We're gonna go over putting on our adapter rings on the TM40 for the DR650. We've got a cylinder ring and we've got an airbox side here. The airbox side, as you can see, is already put on this carburetor. It takes a little tiny bit of epoxy just to make sure there's no air gaps, but make sure not to plug any jets or ports when you put that side on. The cylinder side is a little bit looser and requires just a little bit more epoxy to fill in any of the gaps. So once you get your epoxy all filled up, you're just going to take a little bit right around that inside ring as you can see on the airbox side. Go ahead and slap her on, let it dry. For the cylinder side, we're going to get everything mixed up, get it all happy happy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and fill in the gap on the ring. It's kind of like frosting a cupcake. Okay, we're going to get everything all mixed up here, ready to install. We're going to take the uh, carburetor and we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply some of the uh, good amount of epoxy just on the outside of the ring there. I say it's kind of like frosting a cake, frosting a cupcake. You're just going to take and uh, put a good amount around the outside there. All right, now we got our epoxy all around, laid around the outside. Before it starts dripping on the floor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, and I like to take and slowly turn the ring, just to make sure all the epoxy spread around the inside evenly. You're gonna have a little bit that might come out of the bottom or the top there, that's fine. A straight edge later, and you'll be able to chip that off. All right, hopefully this helps you guys get uh, the adapter rings put on your TM40 so you can throw it on your DR650. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Give us a call, email, shoot us a text. Don't forget, uh, if you find this helpful, give us a like and a subscribe. And as always, adventure begins here.